the subsequent interview that happened. <laughs> yeah, this was after qualifying. Um, we'll, we'll talk about the interview. Um, yeah, well, actually, fuck it. We'll talk about the, 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 it, the interview it, now. It's relevant. Because, um, yeah, so that was that was in, in Saturday practice. And obviously later in the day you had qualifying. Uh, both Dixon and Power were able to get their car. Well, their, their crews were able to fix their cars. But Power and Dixon were eliminated in the first round of qualifying, both citing issues with their cars as to why they couldn't go much quicker. Um, Power's interview after being eliminated was probably one of the most entertaining driver interviews I've watched in a long, long time, where he basically called out everyone and their mother. He, yeah. he, he said the car was terrible because of what Dixon had done to him, so he was still angry about that. He then said that the repave they had done was terrible because if you if you go off, then you're you're gone. Um, he he said it. He basically was he said, talking about the repave or was he talking about the ground? Sur- it seemed to me like he was talking about the grass. I think areas in his anger, it was kind of both, maybe. Yeah. But but yeah, I think his main issue was that was the off track areas. Yeah, he he mentioned hurting his back every time he went off. Yeah, right. Well, I mean, the answer to that is fucking don't go, don't off. go off the drive, right? right? <laughs> but but I mean, but I, I, I kind of. I see his point, right? I mean, if you're if your off track areas are extremely bumpy, you're you're adding another risk of injury to these guys on a car in a car that doesn't have. I mean, you're basically sitting on the ground, mm. you know. And how many over the over the years of race that, of racing that you've watched, how many drivers have you heard of that have had spinal injuries because of bumps? Or the car leaving the ground and, and coming loads. back, you know, absolutely loads. It happens and, a lot. You know, it happens right? enough where we all talk about sausage curbs and how they need to be gotten rid of. And in particular, there was a curb on the exit of Turn One at Road America, which launched Scott McLaughlin a few weeks ago in a test, which Road America duly went about trying to grind down. Um, it still caused, I, I believe it was Will Power again. It still caused him to um, to catch them there toward uh, the latter part of the race. But, you know, we can see that that is an issue that needs getting rid of. And yet the bumps, particularly on the outside of the exit of the carousel and then the exit of the kink after that, are very violent. And c- considering how often cars end up off there just due to the nature of yeah. the corners and the speed you're carrying through them, it does surprise me that Road America maybe haven't looked into smoothing out the groundwork around there to try and aid that. I don't want them to tarmac it because, no. you know, no, no, what, no. Ro- what makes Road America great I was going to say what makes Road America great again, and that almost turned into something horrible. Um, but what what makes the track so good is you know the proximity to danger, and you know the fact that if you if you go wide, there's grass or there's gravel. It's gonna it's gonna impact you. So I don't want them to to completely like pave it and make it no penalty for going off. But you know going off on grass is still enough of a penalty without it launching you skyward. Yeah. So. That that I would like to see them do that maybe in the future. Um, so, so yeah, he, he also he he also called out Roman Grosjean, yeah, as well. And yeah, said so he needed to be punched in the face. He... <laughs> what, what was that about? So that I didn't was... see the incident in practice. That they showed it. They showed it a couple like once after the in- interview. It, it had gone unseen after that, but obviously Powers' comment made the uh, directors go back and find it. Essentially, they were on the run down to Canada Corner one time, and you know how the track kind of curves around to the left a little bit? You, mm-hmm. You've probably seen it. You do multi-class racing, and you know sometimes it's a bit unpredictable as to which way you need to go to get by someone around there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And essentially, there was a bit of an, a misunderstanding, and Grosjean came across and caused some contact between his rear wheel and Power's wing. And and that's what led that's to it? Grosjean needing to be punched in the face. <laughs> Jesus, Will, come he on, was just, guy. He, he was very angry after the incident. Yeah. I think he just used the opportunity to, to, call, to call everyone out. Um, the thing that had the most consequence to him, though, was his comments about the track. He said that the track was shit after what we said um, about the uh, perhaps the off-track bumpiness. Yeah. Um, what happened afterwards, in later that evening, was that Road America's president, Michael Kircher, decided... Well, he, he took Power's comments personally and decided to park one of the road course's trucks that they used to empty the porter the portable toilets, the port the porta potties. Americans will know it as the honey pot truck. There you go. Yeah, they he he took one of those trucks and you'll know how bad they smell. 
and parked it outside of Powers Motorhome. Um, he essentially said, call this a shit track and get a shit truck. <laughs> <laughs> which is fucking perfect now th- it was it was a joking response because yeah. Kurt should conveniently left the keys still in the truck so that power could move it so power did move it he moved it outside dixon's bus <laughs> <laughs> that's a power move it's fucking brilliant now what what this actually ended up doing, so Power showed up outside Dixon's bus with his truck, and that ultimately led to Power and Dixon kind of reconciling. Um, they they ended up having a laugh about it, and sure enough, prior to the race on Sunday, the two were seen joking around with each other. Power was, like, jokingly shoving him in front of the camera and stuff like that. It was great. Um, this, this is Into the Apex Motorsport Podcast, Podcast Network. Network.